in today's discussion we have uh, introduction um, substance critical analysis and readers review regarding a piece of chalk by uh, 20th century english versatile writer dynamic literary figure gk chesterton uh, if you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel this is a uh, bachelor and master english youtube channel and that is dedicated to teaching english language and literature courses for bachelor and master level students uh, plus school level students uh, who are studying plus two uh, here we are talking about uh, the essay first that's introduction the essay a piece of chalk is a reflective essay by gk chesterton it first appeared as a column in the daily news on november 4 1905 this essay is an anecdote about a day spent sketching in the hills of southern england where the land is in many places made up of chalk uh, the speaker worries about the lack of white chalk in his pocket but he finally realizes that the entire hill beneath him is a piece of chalk. Mm. Uh, main ideas or substance of the essay. So, what are the main ideas that uh, the essay is trying, is trying to develop uh, in this uh, piece of writing here? So, let's discuss about it. In the first paragraph of a piece of chalk, Chesterton mentions his conversation with a very square and sensible old woman uh, in the kitchen, partly to establish what he was doing, drawing pictures on brown paper with colored chalk, and partly for the humorous contrast between her practical attitude and his whimsical artistic preoccupations. This attitude to his art, Chesterton was in fact a very talented artist who studied at the Slade School and sometimes illustrated his own work. Um, he is further demonstrated by his extravagant descriptions of what and how he intended to draw. Uh, in the essay itself, he writes that brown paper represents the primal twilight of the first toil of creation, and with a bright colored chalk or two. You can pick out points of fire in it, sparks of gold and blood red and sea green, like the first fierce stars that sprang out of divine darkness. This is related to his special point about white and virtue, purity, good quality, good character. Chesterton wants to use brown paper because he regards white as a positive color, not the mere absence of color. Brown is his background analogous to the nothingness out of which God creates everything. White is too important a feature of his work to be the background. This is why he compares white to virtue as a positive presence. Mm. White is not merely the absence of color, just as virtue is not merely the absence of bias. And this uh, line in his essay, what he tries to say, uh, virtue is not the absence of biases or the avoidance of moral dangers. Virtue is a vivid and separate thing, like pain or a particular smell. Chastity does not mean abstention from sexual wrong. It means something flaming, like John of Arc. In a word, God paints in many colors, but he never paints so gorgeously. I had almost said so gaudily as when he paints in white. Chesterton point in this in the last paragraph is that Chesterton's point in the last paragraph is that he has forgotten to bring white chalk with him then he suddenly and joyfully realizes that he has vastly more white chalk than he could ever, ever use imagine a man in the sahara desert regretting that he had no sand for his hourglass 
Imagine a gentleman in mid-ocean wishing that he had brought some salt water with him for his chemical experiment. He was sitting on an immense warehouse of white chalk. The landscape was made of entirely of white chalk. White chalk was piled more mild until it made the sky. I stooped and broke a piece of rock I sat on. Uh, the conclusion uh, extravagantly reinforces Chesterton's point that God provides for every you know, God provides for him far more generously and thoroughly than he would ever think to provide for himself. So this is all about uh, the substance of this essay. Let's go with uh, Nepali summary here. Actually, discussion in Nepali. Yo, ek tukro chok, a piece of chalk. Ek tukro chok. Gilbert Keith, Athaba J.K. Chesterton, ko ra charchit nimanda ho. Gilbert Keith Chesterton, angrej saitye ko vishun satabdi ka suru taka ka ek mahan ra bo ayami ke lekha ko. Oni patrakar, upanyaskar, nimandakar, ra kabhi ka rupma angrej saitye ka ek murdhanne lekha ka rupma supari chit chan. Un ka chaar jar vata ta nimanda par ka sitwa ka chan. Ek tukro chok, a piece of chok. उनको डेली न्यूज़ नाम को पत्रिका में सन 19 नवंबर 5 तारीख में छापी है को आत्मपरक निबंध हो इसमें लेखक ले प्रकृति में सभी स्रोत साधन होने पानी हमें तीन को पहचान करना न सके र बहुत तारी रहेगा चाहो वन्य बुजायलाई एक फर्क तरीका ले प्रस्तुत करेगा सम सहारा मरुभूमि में गैरा बालुआ को कौन को लाई दुखी होने मानिस समुद्र को बीच में रासायनिक प्रतिक्रिया करने ज़्यादा घर पर नून पानी बोकर ले आने पाए को भाई उन्हें थियो बनने चाहना व्यक्त करने मानी तो दक्षिणी बेलायत को ग्रामीण बेह को चट्टान में उबिए रह खरी डुंगिया को चट्टान में उबिए रह लेख खाल्ती में चौक ले आना रहते हैं को सुंदर बुद्धिशी तरीके का लिस्ट होते हैं ना अल्ली गहन तरीके का लिस्ट होते हैं। उनले खैरो कागज को चिरकट रोला है कसरी साधन मानिसों में तुलना करना सकें जब वाने रा प्रयास करेगा तो साधा जीवन जीवन ही कुनी छाल कपट न जाने को होना सकता तरकी ये तीखे में वो समाज को उच्च रूप में उच्च मानव को रूप में तो इस्ता� सामाजिक अपमान को ग्यारह में पढ़ने रा अंत में जेल को चीज छिड़ी में थुनी ने सकने मानचे होने से अब गुण ना भाई को माने गुण ना भाई को माने जो माने संग गुण सही ना वो आवारा अनि कानून को उल्लंघन करने सामाजिक मान मरेदा तोड़ने रा अपमान को घेरा में पड़ने रांधा में जेल को चीजों में छुड़ी में थोड़ी नहीं सकते हैं तो और उन मानी सर बाटे सौर सौयग्र सकारात्मक दृष्टिकोण बाटे उत्प्रेरित भाई को खंड में उसको जीवन में क्यों होनी पड़ती है तो रास्ते में इतना तो क्यों होना सकता है यही वो देरी मानी चले वो रिपोर्ट ये कुनी उदाहरणी नेत्रितो छमता व उद्दम चलता को बुद्धि मता को झिल को होना सकता है योरा ज्ञान को चाहिए झिल को तो मानचे होना सकता है उल्लाय कानूनी रूप में सामाजिक रूप में नैतिक रूप में चारित्रिक रूप में विभिन्न रूप में कोई मानचे लाय अब अफसर दियो बने ता कोई मानचे ला सकारात्मक दृष्टि रसफल जीवन को अथवा आदर्श जीवन को झिल को होना सकता है। हम रोहरी पर इस तरह प्रशस्त कुरार से जो नामिले जीवन में छुटाए रहेगा। इस तरह कुरार में असफल होना, हमें अपना दोनों तरीके का आगे अपना उच्च स्तर में पूरा उन्हें अफसर घुमा में सकते हैं। चेस्टरटन ने ये चखला को तो विषय ले एक टुकड़ो चौक 
चक नल्याएको दुख मनाउने वक्ता अथवा लेखक आफै खरिडुङ्गामा उभिएको पाउँदा उनलाई खुसीको सीमै रहँदैन पछि उनले त्यो ढुङ्गोबाट ढुङ्गोमा आफू उभिएको पाउँदा जब हर्षित हुन्छन् नि त्यहाँ चाहिँ त्यो ढुङ्गोलाई उनले आफूसँग त चक त छैन अब त्यही ढुङ्गोको टुक्रो फुटालेर अनि आफूलाई चाहिँ एउटा महिलाले दिएको खैरो कागजमा गाईको चित्र कोर्छ त्यो गाई पृथ्वी तलमा पाइने गाईभन्दा भिन्न प्रकृतिको हुन्छ किनकि त्यसमा चार खुट्टा अनि त्यसपछि त्यसका विभिन्न एउटा जुन खैरो माली कालो अथवा काली विभिन्न रङ्गका नभइकन चाँदी बैजनी रङ्गका अनि दुईटा सिङ नभइकन सातवटा सिङ भएको गाई हुन्छ खरिडुङ्गाको त्यही टुक्रोबाट एक रहस्यमय चित्र जुन गाईको रहस्यमय चित्र कोरेपछि उनको आइतबार बिहानको ग्रामीण भेगको कार्ययोजना पुरा हुन्छ चेस्टरटनले यस निबन्ध मार्फत आफूलाई एक मानवतावादी निबन्धकारको रूपमा पेश गरेका छन् उनले आफ्ना चाहना खुसी स्वतन्त्रता लचक सावधानी सरलता जस्ता विषयमा केन्द्रित गरेर निबन्ध लेखेका भए पनि चाहनाको विषयवस्तुलाई बढी अन्वेषण गर्न खोजेको पाइन्छ यस निबन्ध मार्फत चक्को जुन टुक्रो छ नि त्यसमा चाहिँ निबन्धकार हास्य प्रदान निबन्धकारको रूपमा पेश गरेको छन् दार्शनिक विषयवस्तुमा उनले हाँसो उठाउने एउटा क्षमता पनि प्रकट गरेका छन् प्रकृतिमा सर्वत्र पाइने चिज नचिनेर आफूले गुजीमा वा साथमा नल्याएको पनि भौँता रिनेर पछि उक्त स्रोत पहिचान गरे पश्चात प्रकट गरेको खुसी सम्बन्धी किस्सा हामी जो कोहीको जीवनमा पनि सत्य साबित हुन सक्छ यस्तो यस्तो कुराहरू निबन्धकारले आफ्नो अपिसप चक अथवा एक टुक्रो चक निबन्ध मार्फत पेश गर्न खोजेका हुन् द्याट्स दि नेपाली भर्सन नेपाली फर्म अफ डिस्कसन अफ दिस एस ए अफ पिस अफ चक लेट्स गो विथ क्रिटिकल एनालिसिस दि अथर युज इज आइरोनी इमेजरी एन्ड जक्स्टा पोजिसन टू प्रस्यू एड हिज ओरियन्स द्याट ब्युटी इज इन द आई अफ द बिहोल्डर टु चेस्टोटन इभन द मोस्ट टिपिकल अब्जेक्ट्स अर सिचुएसन्स क्यान बी इन्जोर्ड इमेन्सली इफ दि ओरियन्स चुज इज अ मोर इनलाइटन पर्सपेक्टिभ दिस एस ए are used that beauty exists in every entity of life even those commonly thought of as hazardous destructive or unethistic according to chesterton beauty is defined by the observer and not by the opinions that exist outside the individual's mind in a piece of chalk by g G.K. Chesterton, we have the theme of desire, prudence, resilience, happiness, independence, and ingenuity. And very early on the essay, the reader realizes that Chesterton may be exploring the theme of desire. Chesterton beautifully explores the theme of importance and interest of small things. Chesterton decides Uh, to sketch on Sussex Downs, prompting a lightly comic encounter with housekeeper about obtaining brown paper and a digression on pocket contents. He then vividly describes the landscape, his intended subject, not a cow, but the soul of a cow, and thinks about the old poets who lived before Wordsworth. and uh, then he realizes he has forgotten white chalk appreciation that white is not merely an absence inspires soaring us spiritual raptures descending pathetically meanwhile i could not find my chalk his despair however turns finally to triumph and roaring patriotic joy it's an artful essay in every sense The essay is related to 
creating pictures, stories, poems, etc. He is immersed in nature, but with no intention of drawing nature. He draws soul of the cow, purple, silver, uh, seven horns. Apparently, he writes from Christian revelation uh, cow, Christian perspective. There is allusion to the revelation and what's what. Colored chalks are on reflection uh, on, of the meaning of color. What is not the absence of color? It has meaning. It is a color. The relationship of color and nature is appreciating the normal as extraordinary. The de definition of virtue is given at the absence of vice, but the putting on of Christ. Okay. Now we have come to reader's review. At the beginning of this essay, the author expresses a desire to draw not on white paper but on brown, the color of earth. Later, he explains the importance of white chalk to drawing in that white is not an absence of color any more than virtue is the absence of bias. Rather, white is a signing and affirmative thing, plain and positive like the sun. The author wants to introduce white to his brown paper drawings because without it, a quite a quintessential element is lacking. In the same way that life is lacking without active virtue in it. Southern England, made entirely of white chalk, is something even more admirable. Then a civilization or a tradition, Chesterton alludes to the salt of the earth, idiom and suggests that the people of Southern England are what bring the positive virtue, the light, to life in as much as the landscape provides the chalk for Chesterton's drawings. The end of the story or essay is also interesting as Chesterton may succumb to normality when he is using the pieces of white rock to draw the landscape he needs to fill his face in order for the drawing to make sense. So happy is Chesterton after he finishes the drawing uh, that he compares the white rock to the white chalk and sees no difference. He may have started out with a, without a piece of white chalk but the end is different. Through his ingenuity and resilience, Chesterton has managed to finish his drawing, a drawing that he himself is proud of and one expects that others will be proud of too. Chesterton has taken what could have been a torturous day uh, and turned it into a day of ingenuity and happiness. So that's the end of today's discussion regarding a piece of chalk by G.K. Chesterton. Uh, if you have any queries, please put your ideas in my comment box. Please don't forget to uh, subscribe my channel uh, if you have not subscribed yet. And uh, please uh, like, share and comment the videos as much as possible. Thank you very much for being with me. Have a nice time.